Hey folks, what's up? Just having a little bit of a mess around here. Um, decided I was going to try and do something here because I haven't been active for a while. And uh, just wanted to touch base and also talk about something that I don't really see a lot of DJs talking about, which is um, this. Now you may be thinking, alright, that's a microphone. I'm not just talking about the mic. I'm talking about mic techniques. You don't have to excuse me here because I just realized my camera is too far over. Can't really see me too well. Well, that's probably even worse, but okay. Oi. Oh well. Punk TV, as Jonathan and Brian say. Anyhow, the reason I've got this in my hand here is because I wanted to talk to everybody about mic techniques. Now, when I say mic techniques, I mean things like, you know, what you say on the mic, you know, how you sound when you're talking. You know, some of us, some of us aren't that familiar and aren't that comfortable talking to a large group of people over a microphone. And I understand that. I know. I was one of them. I still have trouble, but I can talk over a mic now. It's a lot easier. It's getting easier from working in that nightclub. Now, a lot of mobile DJs won't need some of this stuff. Club DJs, this is going to be perfect for you guys. Now, since I do both, I try to, you know, make sure that I at least make sure that I at least brush up on it because it does work if you want to get your crowds into stuff. So, I'm going to pause the camera and move it in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about and so you can see me a little bit better. So, be right back. Okay, so better angle. Now you can see me, obviously. I'm going to try this one, see how it works. So, like I said, got the microphone here in my hand. Um, obviously, it's not wired up. There's nothing here. This is only for practice. Um, but I use this, if you can't tell, this is a Shure. It's, an S, it's, an, it's a PG58. Pretty much the same as an SN58, but, you know, for what it is, works real nice. Anyway, I'm going to pause that because we don't need background music anymore. Now, what I'm talking about is there are always good and bad mic techniques. A bad mic technique is to get on the mic and start shouting, Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? That's not what you want to do. you got to time it. One of the things I've learned is that good or bad mic techniques can make or break, you know, how, are, how your crowd's reacting. You know, you can have a full dance floor and go on there and go on the mic thinking that you can, thinking you can beatbox and you can clear the floor out. Um, it can also have the reverse effect. You can have an empty dance floor and you can sometimes say stuff into the mic and you might be able to get, and you'll get people on the dance floor. You know, you can fill it up. Um, tried it a couple times at mobiles. Does work. But the clubs are where it really shows. So I guess this is kind of my club side showing through here. Any dang way. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've picked up over the course of working in the clubs here. Now, basically what I have here is a version of Mark Reich, uh, DJ Hypnotize, and my partner down at Matrix. I have one of his hypno mixes, which is the ones that are like a bunch of different things, a bunch of different songs all at once. And I have set up a cue point in this, let me make sure, nope, that's the wrong one, you always got to learn these things, right there, okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what happens here at this point in the song, now, this is, as I said, this goes with, um, Gonna Make You Sweat by CNC Music Factory, um, Apache by Sugar Hill Gang, and Thriller by Michael Jackson, now, right at this point in the song, there's this, now during that gap, that's the perfect time to throw something in. So I'll back it up again. And normally, now this only works here, this only works at Matrix. And what we do there is when that break hits, either myself or Mark grabs our mic, grabs the mic, he has a wireless one down there, we grab the mic and we go, Pittsburgh makes some noise. At that point then, usually that's followed up by a lot of scratching by Mark and the lights basically going completely berserk from me. So, I'll give you a good idea of what it sounds like when it's all full and ready to go. So, I'll back it up here and give myself a little bit of time. So, here we go. Like I said, it might not be the smoothest, but it'll work. So, here we go. Pittsburgh, make some noise! Okay, so you get the idea. It would sound better if we were in a club itself, but can't do that there. Now, one of the other things you got to do is, sometimes during songs you have to make announcements. You know, we all know those. They come from like, uh, they come from, they come from like, you know, they'll come from people, might be the club itself, 
you know, at a mobile gig, you might choose to announce certain congratulations or stuff like that uh, for the bride and groom. You know, if it's a wedding or anything like that, you might choose to announce certain things while a song is still playing or while you're waiting, for, while you're while you're getting ready to mix in. Because sometimes some sometimes songs have, oh, excuse me, nice long outros or nice intros, something you can use to get yourself in there. Now it doesn't always work that way. So, like I said. Again, I have another mega mix here. This one's a whole bunch of like 80s tracks, that sort of thing. And I believe, if I'm correct here, I don't have my headphones because I don't really because I don't really need them. I'm not mixing. Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't any good. Nor is that. Right here is a real good one. So I set that cue point for a reason. Now. This is one. This is similar to something that we do down at Matrix. Now, this again. This is only. This is again using the club as the example here. So, what I'll do is I'll show you exactly what we would do. Now, this is for example, if we had. This is example. We always start the night out. We have to announce our drink specials. Now, that's just the job of any club DJ. You have to keep the drink special out there. So, we would do it. But got to keep the music going at the same time. So, we're gonna try this. Here goes. Saturday night, club accident Matrix. The retro rewind in full effect. We got $1 well drinks, $2 domestics from 10 until 11.30. Going on right now. Okay, so as I said, not the best in the world, but you get the point. So that's the whole thing. We also have things, you know, you do shout outs on Saturday nights, which is tonight. We always have bachelorette parties come down there. Always got to do shout outs for them. You know how it is with bachelorettes. They want everything done their way. So the point I'm getting at is good mic techniques. You've got to be able to do that, not just for the club side. Think about the techniques you're going to have to use on the mobile side. I mean, if you do a wedding, you got to be a good MC. So you have got to be not afraid to pick this thing up and announce things. You've also got to be able to do that at, for example, a high school gig or a prom, you know, semi-formal. Got to be able to get on, you got to be not afraid to get on the mic. So I do notice that a lot of times, and I'm guilty of it, new DJs, we're mic shy. Well, Mike's shy, just like a new star, movie star, would be camera shy. So it's hard to do stuff. It's hard It's hard to think when you've got all this other stuff going. But once you start to, you know, get going and start to learn things, then it gets easier. So anyway, that's basically what I'm getting at is, you know, whenever you get the chance, practice your mic techniques. You know, just just practice speaking. I mean, if, you, if you're not comfortable speaking on a microphone, do what I did. Get your mic, get your mic with no cable attached. Look in a mirror and just see what you look like. You know, maybe do the other thing. I've got both of these mega mixes burned onto CDs. Excuse me, that I listen to in my car. And during the breakdowns, like at this point, before that, I would have been practicing what I would say on the mic. No one has to hear it. Only me. It comes back. I listen to it and I think, okay, uh, that sounded good, or Ugh, that was not that good. And you learn to time it. So, I hope everybody's. I hope this is. You know gonna gonna affect a couple people I mean mic techniques mics and mic work is important you've got to be able to get on the mic you know um, again like I said that's just part of being a DJ you're not just a DJ you're an MC so you got to be able to talk thanks for watching and hopefully I've done some and hopefully I've done some good here practice and enjoy